It was rough yesterday, but I decided to carry on. Though I would be lying if I said I didn't think of Mrs. Goodwin. Anyways, Mr. Taylor was the next name on my list. He lived in the forest as a hermit? He had no debt, but the city wanted to expropriate his property. They built a highway there. I visited him so I could seize his property. I don't know if that's legal. The first one, yeah, it's an eviction, but... No trespassers. His cabin should be here somewhere. There it is. Uh, things suddenly got spooky as soon as I approached the cabin. This is Price. I'm looking for Mr. Taylor. Hello? Either he's not at home or he's ignoring me. I need to talk to him. It's locked. It's, it's a firewood stack. Am I gonna have to burn this guy's house down? It's locked. Um. Hey, dude. So you know how you live here? Um. Could you not? <laughs> you must be Mr. Taylor. I am. My name's Price. Nice to make your acquaintance. Please drop the act and let me hear your threats. I know why you're here. Threats? No, no, how about reasoning? You see, Mr. Taylor, the city wants to build a highway here. It would bring us lots of new people and tourism. And a lot of money, too? Or am I mistaken? Well, that's exactly the problem with you people. Money is your king. Where's your compassion? This is my home. Sir, it's been quite a long day already. Everything is already prepared. And don't forget, we are offering you very fair compensation. And if you refuse, we will have to expropriate your property. I guess I'll have no options but to bend over. There, you got me. I hope you're happy. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, kid. I know you're just doing your work. Sir, if there's anything I can do, there is something. Is he gonna shoot me? It's getting chilly out here. Let's talk in my cabin. Here, take this key. I'll follow you shortly. Oh, and while you're at it, could you light a fire in the fireplace? Of course. Thank you, sir. This is- this seems like a trap to me. Like, I do not believe that this man doesn't have access to a gun. He lives out in the in the woods in the middle of nowhere. What if there's like a bear or something? Cabin, living room. Yep, yep, he's got hunting trophies. Just ashes here. Need to make a fire. Oh, there was firewood outside. I bet I can grab it now that I've been told to. Firewood. Okay, put it over here. It's a trash can full of paper. Crossword, search word. He seems to like puzzles. It's locked. There's something. Matches. Perfect. Okay. Am I just going to be able to start a fire with matches and logs? Because normally you need kindling. Save point, I'm gonna use that right away. I don't trust anything about this scenario. Is there any is there an ice cube in this bathtub too? Hang on a second. Oh, that's not good. Like maybe something or someone was dismembered in there? <laughs>
goes. Damn it. The firewood is moist. I need something that ignites easily. Paper, perhaps. There's a trash can full of paper. Burning trash cans aren't really my thing. It's a trash can full of paper. I don't think he needs these. Yeah, but having paper won't make the logs not... Like, that won't make the logs dry. I made him fire. Ah, I see you made a fire. Good, thank you. My pleasure. It's so dark in here. Yeah, there's no electricity. But back to the topic. See, my dog's gone missing. And you want me to find him? Her? Her? It was quite a mysterious disappearance. How so? Well, she was here when I went to bed last night. As far as I'm aware, she can't open doors. And yet, she was gone at the break of dawn. Huh, then she must be inside. So I thought, but I can't find her anywhere. If you find her, I'll happily sign any papers you may have. You got yourself a deal, sir. I'll start my investigation. Good luck, kid. I don't know. I don't know if this dog exists. I think he sent me on a wild goose chase. Dog food and water bowls. Okay. So there is evidence to suggest that he has a dog, after all. Interesting. It is locked. This dog bed smells like piss and soap. Might be important. I'll ask Mr. Taylor about this. Go back to the living room, talk to the guy. I noticed that the dog bed smells funny. Yeah, we had a little skunk accident yesterday. Oh, the smell. Anyways, we spent a good hour scrubbing the stink away. Lots of water and lots of shampoo. That explains the smell. I'm sure this helps. I'll look into it. This is where he washed his dog. It still reeks. Okay, let me think. If, if the dog bed already stinks that bad, I wonder what the dog will smell like. I think I can follow her scent. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. That was the shotgun dude, right? shotgun dude Mr. Taylor? Like, is this game happening after all of these evictions, actually, and this is just him reliving them? Nothing interesting here. Ha! There's a hole in this door. The dog must have gone through here. The door is locked with a combination lock. I can't follow her. I'll talk to Mr. Taylor. Let's see if he still has his face. There's a locked door in the hallway. Where does it lead? Why? Well, there's a hole in the door. I believe the dog has gone through there. Hmm, that would make sense. There's an old underground cellar behind that door, but I haven't used it in years. I could take a look, but I need a combination for the lock. Oh yeah, what was it? It's so long, you see? I'm afraid I've forgotten the combination. But I'm no fool, so I have a backup. That's great, where can I find it? See, I love puzzles of all kinds. I believe I hid the combination in one of the puzzles. If I remember correctly. The word you'll need is tree. Yep, that's the word. Okay, I'll take a look. Hey kid, thanks for going through all the trouble. Don't worry about it. Okay, so...
Okay, this must be the puzzle that he meant. T-R-E-E. -E. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't believe that he actually forgot that the code was five, six, seven, eight. Got it. I don't like this. It's a washing machine. It doesn't work. There's no electricity. So why is there a washing machine if it doesn't work, then? It's an old compressor. Let's see if there's still some juice in it. Nothing happened. There's a hole in the wall in the floor. The dog has gone through here, no doubt about it. What was that? Isn't there a guy walking around out here without a face? That looks bad. Shit. I hope this isn't her blood. Oh my god! Okay, so this isn't happening. Oh. Here, girl. I don't have the guts to get any closer. Okay, so it's like a metaphor. Gasoline can. I unlocked the door. Okay, now this is the front of the house. I'm gonna go and get an achievement real quick. You walked all the way back here to try that? Please, I have short legs. Yeah. Walking simulator. And one more achievement. Girl, sniff this sweet gasoline. No, I need to gain her trust somehow. Yeah, that's the other achievement. Surprisingly, uh, using gas on the dog doesn't work. Okay, I have to go back to the cellar and use the gasoline can on the compressor. 
I'll fill the compressor with this gasoline. Okay, here goes nothing. Look at that. Okay, now the washing machine is working. Let's see. What? 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 What is that? What is that? What is that? Okay, let's go try that again. Shit, there's something in there. Oh, it's a glove? Got scared for a moment. Okay, now I gotta take the glove to the dog. Love already smells bloody, huh? That's not a good sign. Here, girl, smell this glove. That's it. Come here. Who's a good girl? Woof. Your master's worried about you. You should go home. Good girl. Alright, back to the cabin. Can we... Okay. Oh, not the dog. Oh, it's the elephant again. Oh. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I guess I can't go over there. Oh, okay. You found her. Thanks, kid. Why'd your house move? I signed the papers. You can find them inside. I will leave immediately. Feels easier that way. Farewell, sir. Okay. Okay, I better get the papers. Ah! God damn it. Why did these... This is the second time in a row these three dudes have scared me. Son, good to see you. Dead, Bert... McDade, Bruton, and more. Another job well done. For a moment, I thought you were going soft. Doing him a favor by finding his lousy mud? He seemed like a vet. Nonsense. You should have just kicked his worthless ass. Next time, you must remain strict. Strict. I understand. Do you now? You wouldn't want to make us regret choosing you. No, sir. That's the spirit. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. That reminds me of something of great importance. What's that? We have, we've yet to see you dance. Uh-oh. Now dance, son. <laughs> okay. What? Okay, so it's a metaphor how he feels like he's being made to literally dance for his bosses. Is this just gonna fade out from here? Okay. Whoa. Well, that took a turn. Look. Uh, that's the shotgun guy. Washing machine. Oh shit. Mrs. Bates. Okay. Uh 
Um, oh, that's super loud. I fell down and couldn't get up. Phone? Oh, there I am. Yes? Is this Mr. Price speaking? Yeah, my name is Stuart. I'm sorry to bother you at such a late hour. What's this all about? It's Mrs. Goodwin. I know you're not a relative, but I'm afraid she has no one else. She asked me to call you. See, she had a stroke yesterday. Oh, how is she doing? Well, considering the seriousness of the stroke, she's fine. But she's in very bad spirits. And when the mind fails, the body will follow. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I understand, but she asked specifically for you, Mr. Price. Could you consider visiting her here in our care? I'm sure it would mean a lot to her. Yes, I'll happily do it. Thank you, Mr. Price. I will bring the message to her. I'm sure she'll be delighted. Thank you, Mr. Stewards. Uh, so was that a dream, or was that not a dream? What a nightmare. Ah, shit. I wonder how Mrs. Goodwin is doing. Maybe I should visit her for my own sake. That's- that's pretty selfish. Like, he wants to visit her for his own sake, not for her sake. He needs coffee first. Gotta have his coffee. This is where I'd put a gamer subs ad if I had. Ah, my new coffee maker is the Deluxe 2000 X78 G3. Oh yeah, did it totally makes evicting that old lady worth it if you got a new coffee maker, I guess. One press of a button is enough. No more fetching water from the weirdest of places. Luxury, one could call it. Hello, this is Price speaking. Mr. Price, this is Stuart speaking. I'm calling from our nursing home on behalf of Mrs. Goodwin. I is everything okay? She had a stroke. But she's doing relatively fine. Oh, so, so that phone call was... Let me guess, she asked me to visit her? Impressive, Mr. Price, indeed. It would mean the world to her. Would you please consider doing so? Yes, of course, I'll come to see her. Thank you, Mr. Price. I'll let her know. Thank you for calling me. Okay, so this is weird. Is this guy in limbo or something? Like, is he stuck in a loop? What? My dreams of guilt are coming true. Why are his parents back? I can't acknowledge them. I have a superb bladder, I can hold it for a day or two. I don't need to wash my hands. Yeah, you do. Ha ha ha, you're right, dear. I will never forget that day. Oh look, it's our little boy, I can see that. Hey, you don't mind that we took some coffee, do you? Coffee tastes great this time, not at all. Since you are here, I guess you have something important to tell me? That is correct. It seems you're still pursuing the riches, at the expense of others. What your father's trying to tell you is that you're losing yourself in the process. I think I know what you mean, but I can't quit now, I'm so close to success. How about Mrs. Goodwin? We heard she's not doing too good. Don't you think she would rather be at her home? I know, I feel horrible for her. Maybe you would understand, if you saw the consequences of your actions. We should go and see how Mrs. Goodwin is doing. Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. No, son, we do. We're only thinking about what's best for you. 
Sorry, I know that. See, you can be very compassionate, hun. Um, is that the elephant? Oh, is anyone home? I'm looking for Mr. Price. Oh man, I'm losing my mind. Okay, focus. Drink the coffee and suit up. I'll need to get my head straight. Who's at his door? Damn good coffee. Okay, I'll get dressed and I'm off. Obligatory Twin Peaks reference. I had coffee. Alright, I'll pay Mrs. Goodwin a visit. I hope she's okay. Who keeps knocking on this dude's door? <laughs> 